Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Carrie's Gardening Channel. So, um, in this video here, uh, I had to have a fence put up around my roses because the deer got them, all the beautiful blooms that were coming. Most of them the deer ate off. You can see there are still a few that they missed, but um, we are in October, so hopefully, you know, they'll keep going. But my real big uh, flush of flowers I was going to get, the deer went ahead and ate them off, and uh, they really stripped some of my roses down. I'll show you what they did to the hybrid tea one here. Uh, they stripped my hybrid tea rose, had a lot of beautiful blooms coming on it, and the deer found them, and they just started eating them. So we did go ahead and fence this here in. So it was pretty disappointing that they ate them because that was probably, I'm guarding a Pennsylvanians on 5B, so that was probably my last real big flush of flowers I was going to get from my roses before the frost came, but um, they went ahead and ate them. You can see what they did to this one here. They ate the tips off, and that one had a lot of blooms coming on it, so I was pretty disappointed that they did that. And like I said, we put like a fence up around and had to have that done. I've tried different sprays to keep the deer away, and honestly, I haven't found one that worked. So we went ahead and we fenced it to try and protect them. I know some people use like a hot pepper spray to try and keep them away or like if they bite into it to leave it alone. But if you mix your hot pepper spray too strong, what will actually happen is, is you'll burn your plant and you'll burn like your flowers, your petals. And then you kind of defeated your purpose anyway. So That is something that I do know, and I know people who have tried it, and they wound up actually burning their plants. So it's not really something that I recommend trying, but I do know some people who tried it, and their results weren't that great. You can see here they ate all of the tips off. They left them alone for a long time this year, but once they found them, they just kept coming back. But the perennials here, we did fence these in as we did have these fenced in as well. And um, wanted to try and, you know, save them so the deer don't eat them. Now for the rose bushes, I have tried before to like put a net over the plants themselves and like had the net up in the air. But what actually happened was the deer bit down through the net and they still ate the rose blooms off. So um, if you're growing roses, the deer can definitely be a problem. Rabbits can be a problem too because the rabbits will eat the bark off of the bottom of your shrubs. And they'll do that like on any kind of shrub on your trees and that'll let like the bugs go into them. It'll let disease go into them. So that is something that you do have to watch out for if you're growing like ornamentals, trees, especially like your fruit trees. They can really do damage and destroy them. So if you like my video, please like, comment, subscribe. Please don't forget to hit the little notification button. I'll try to put a new video on. Also follow me on Twitter. I'll have a link down in the description for my Twitter account. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a nice day. Bye!